Welcome back to another back office video from Modisoft. My name is Jonathan, and today we're going to be going over on how to create departments in Modisoft. So departments are one of the more important things that you must have in your back office, because without departments, you will not be able to send your items to the point of sale. So your point of sale, whether it's a Gilbarco passport, Verifone commander, or even a Modisoft register, all of those require departments so that items can be sent to those registers. So in order to create those departments, it's a pretty simple process. So you're going to want to go to your menu up in the top left corner, go into your setup page under settings, and then you will see a departments icon. So once you load this page, you'll see current departments that are here. Now, if you're a brand new store owner, this page will be blank and you will need to create this on your own. So in order to create a department, what you're going to do first is go up here, click on add new, and you will be able to enter all the data that you want for your department. So for example, maybe you want to add a novelty department, you will be able to do so in the Modisoft back office just by putting the name, what type of department is it? Is it a fuel department, a merchandise department, lottery, miscellaneous, or services? Now for novelty items, those are merchandise items, so you would end up putting merchandise here. Now if you were creating like your lottery departments, like your paid in, paid out departments for lottery, then of course you would put your lottery department type here. And then you have to assign it a number. Now, the reason why this number is important is because in order for you to send the items to the passport or commander, you do have to match the departments that are in those point of sale systems. So for example, if you do have a Gilbarco passport system and your novelty department, when you search up your departments, if you see that your novelty department is department number 15 on your passport, then in the back office, you have to make sure that it matches. Because if your numbers do not match and you put, let's say, department five for your department number, but you have your cigarettes on department five, and when you send your novelty items to the POS, it's gonna go to your cigarette department. So it's very important that you put the correct department norm number that corresponds with your number on your point of sale register. Once you enter your department number, you will enter a tax rate for this department. Is this a taxable department? Is it a non-taxable department? And here, a minimum age restriction. So is this a department that requires ID to be shown to the cashier whenever your customers purchase these type of items, such as cigarettes and alcohol? So if there's no restriction, you can just put a no restriction here, or you just put the age that is required for this department. NACS product code, generally we put 400 for default on all of our products and codes, unless you have a Verifone commander. A lot of times whenever those departments are set up, they actually do assign an NACS product code on the Verifone commander. So whenever you are in the C store and looking at your departments, you will see that there is a code assigned. So you will have to make sure that that number matches whenever you are entering that here. But by default for Modisoft and even for Gilbarco Passport, you can put 400 every time. Now on this, if you do have a Modisoft register, you can put a minimum rung up amount or a maximum rung up amount so that in this department, if someone's buying merchandise, they have to purchase at least a minimum or a maximum amount for it to be allowed whenever you're ringing up manually. So once you enter that max or minimum rung up amount, then you can go to the bottom and check mark here, is this a department that allows food stamps? So sometimes you might have a non-taxable food department that you do allow food stamps in, so you can actually check mark this. But if you don't even sell food stamps at your location, you can leave it blank. Now for is MPOS, when you check mark this, this will allow this department to be shown on your Modisoft register whenever you click that department's button on the register. So if you do not want your cashiers to manually ring up this department, then you can actually leave this unchecked and whenever they 
If they try to do a manual sale on the department's icon, they will not see this department there. But if you do want them to see it, then check mark it and it will be there. Now for track card C inventory, if you do have a card C plan with Modisoft and you want those items from this department to be tracked for inventory purposes, then you can check mark this here and this will track all the inventory that comes in and out of this department. Once you have applied all the settings here on this page, click save and close and you will have successfully added a department. Now an extra thing that you can do as well once you've added a department, if you do have a Modisoft register, you do have the ability to upload point of sale icons here. So if you want to flash up your, your icons for your departments, you can definitely add any kind of icons for them. We hope that you found this guide useful in better understanding your Modisoft back office. Please like, subscribe, and click on the notification bell so that you will always be up to date on your Modisoft back office. Thank you and have a wonderful day.